Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Britt Reacts, and I am back, refreshed, recharged, and ready to react to Carol King, It's Too Late. Let's see what she has to say. Well, we've also got another fine guitar player with us on this tour, and that's Danny Cooch Korchmar. Danny, Cooch. come on out. Thank you. You want some notes too? Okay, pick a note. That's a good note. <laughs> that piano is huge. Close enough for jazz. <laughs> We're gonna do a song for you called It's Too Late. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to pause it right there, but I, the Holy Spirit caught me. All right. Um, I've watched her perform in this setting before, and I believe James Taylor as well. And she just mentioned a tour, so it made me feel like maybe they were on it. She, James Taylor, and this other gentleman and other artists perhaps were on a tour, um, which was probably like sensational to witness. She just seems like such a gracious artist. And what I mean by that is like, well, first of all, she seems gentle and kind by the way she speaks. Like she just seems like she has this really gentle like spirit aura if you will um also though what I mean as a generous artist is like she doesn't seem to be stingy with her talent her space her audience her fans like she seems to be the type of art she's like an artist artist like everyone can get in on what she's got going on I've learned now reacting to her a few times and reading your comments this woman is a lyrical genius like she's a mastermind of songwriting and she just seems like a giver um, of her talent of her time of her resources of her knowledge like she just you know she gives that off and I think it translates into how pure her music is immediately those chords made me feel like I was watching the movie Crooklyn and I've talked about this before I love the movie Crooklyn I love it I love it I love it if you don't know what it is I implore you to go find out. It's a movie set in the 70s in Brooklyn by Spike Lee. And for me, um, it, it encapsulates so much of my childhood because I've watched it a million times and it just reminds me of that. But the music in that movie also will probably always be a part of me. And I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying this song was in the movie or on the soundtrack. I don't know. But it feels so familiar to that for me. Um, I love this lady. I love her. I, I love everything about her and I love the purity and kindness and, and, and gentleness of her music. All right, I'm done. I just had to like get that off my chest, guys. It's been a while and I needed you. It's been sitting with me. There's the time. There's something wrong here. There can be no denying. Ooh, that One of us is changing or maybe we just stop trying. Like, she's singing a pretty sad song. Like, the, the relationship is over. They can't hide it. They can't fake it. It's too late. But, like, even the way she's singing it, it's like, but it's such a kind way to break up with somebody. It's so gentle and caring. Like, you know, that's exactly what I mean. The song, the flow of the song, it's got kind of this um, funky bass line. Dun, 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 dun. But then she's on it with the keys that are light and feathery. And then her voice is all light and kind. And it's just a beautiful marriage of it. Like, I feel like if you ever want to break up with somebody, play this song and it'll be a gentle breakup. They'll be like, but, you know, it was amicable, I think. <laughs> Whew, that is going to get me every time. He's a great guitar player. Whew. 
light and breezy. That's her. moved by the bass I can't even lie to you the bass is moving me um and the two gentlemen playing look like they're marrying each other Miri mirroring one another because they look so similar they have like very similar haircuts and hair color um but yeah the bass is like really what's main character for me right now and it's really kind of carrying the song and, and keeping the song super grounded and and not feeling all like because her voice I feel like makes you want to float but the bass is keeping you grounded and reminding you like no I'm breaking up with you <laughs> because if you just listen to Carol's voice you'll forget that she, it's a breakup song you know what I mean and she's saying like the time is up honey we, we've run out we, it's it's too late it's time to go <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, make it weep. Joy, she's so happy. I love her like mimicking the strings. That was cool. Something inside has died and I, can't I don't like that line. Something inside has died. imagine what the studio version sounds like because this is so good like can it get better I love a live performance for me a lot of times a live performance is better than the studio and you guys always yell at me like you needed to watch the official the original the blah blah blah, blah. but it's like there's this just a special thing about watching an artist perform a song for me um but I just am like does this song get better can it get better it's too Her. I just want to go like have coffee or tea with her. I love her. <sighs> what a just like humble human, you know? Wow. I love that. It's too late. Duh, duh, duh. All of that was great. It was like a warm piece of pie. All right, you guys. Go and have a day you deserve. Bye. <laughs>